Hey everybody, it's Hai Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com. It is Tuesday, October 29th. We are looking at our earnings trades. Now, first and foremost, Google reported yesterday it uh, beat on the top line but not the bottom line. So, as you can see, the you know it wasn't a complete hit, and therefore the stock is being taken down uh, by about $18 in the pre-market here. What we want to do with Google is as soon as it opens, before the volatility crush starts to happen. We, as soon as you can, you close this trade. Uh, you might, we, uh, we might lose out a little bit on this, but I think we should still be close to break even. It, it is a debit spread after all. And so both these options will be moving. And uh, so we want to close this trade out because this was structured to be a bullish trade, even though it's not too far away, but I suspect that it may get taken down even further after the open. So, uh, and plus, you know, with these earnings trades, when the company misses and uh, our trade is not aligned with that, then uh, it's uh, you know if the loss is not too much it's it's worth getting out on tesla it was worth fighting for it and we're doing well now the the condor is structured very very well on tesla but uh, coming back to google let's close out this as soon as the market opens and uh, call this trade a break even trade because some of this profit will go away uh, apple we just opened this apple reports tomorrow after the uh, close and so we're going to keep this and if it develops a nice profit between today and tomorrow we might want to close Apple or at least uh, do some adjustment to it, like make it a debit spread so that we can protect, uh, protect the profits. Microsoft is great. I mean, this was a trade that um, it, uh, that cost about $1,000 on my 10 contracts. You can see the difference between the spread is $1. And here we are. The difference is now 1600 So that's a 60% return there. So I'm thinking we'll close Microsoft also because the only uh, problem is because the 142 short call is also going in the money and if microsoft continues to move up it it, it would work well on the on the on the charts but uh, here let me go to microsoft and just show the risk graph because that's uh, that says it all here right here however as uh, as this trade moves along you can see now you know we've, we've got a decent profit it does uh, have a potential for more if some, so if somebody wanted to hang on to it and capture more you could do that uh, and there is quite a bit of time left. So, you know, and we, uh, we'll have to wait for all these days for the profits to develop. Uh, uh, and, and so, you know, at least uh, for a couple of weeks more to, to get another 200 or 300. And I just think it's not worth it. It's a 60% return. Let's close it. And here we go with Visa. That's a great, uh, this is over a 50% return. So we are closing Visa too. So summary, we are closing Visa. I'm closing Microsoft. I'm closing Google. We are only left with Apple and Tesla. So, the, so three trades are getting close today. In terms of the new trade today, if you see what's happening here, Shopify reported this morning. This morning it reported. And so you can see now yesterday Shopify ended at 325 and this morning it's opening at 306. And so this is a sort of an optional trade because I'm going to suggest a credit spread here. Uh, it's highly unlikely that Shopify, after going down about uh, over, you know, close to twenty dollars now in the pre-markets, uh, it's highly unlikely that it's going to reach three thirty or three forty in this, uh, you know, in this weekly series itself, which uh, uh, which uh, uh, which uh, expires on November. Let's let's see the November one if we can and see. We are getting about ninety cents for the three thirty five, three forty, and if we do three thirty. And 335. Let's see, you're getting a dollar 25 for 330, 335. It's, going, it's still 25 dollars away. But, and when the when the results are bad, it's highly unlikely that it will bounce back. In any case, today is Tuesday, so we'll have three days to uh, work with this. You're going to get on my 10 contracts. I'm going to get about a dollar 15, so that's about 11.50. So in some ways, it can be looked at as an easy trade, a, a no-brainer trade, because the results are already out. Uh, and in other ways, just have to be careful because it is a credit spread. And so, uh, you know, the risk is, uh, the risk on the trade is 3,800. The reward is 1,200. But it's a credit spread and, and our probabilities of success are very, very high. And so I'm going to put this as a trade for today. If somebody doesn't understand the credit spread uh, uh, trade, then please don't take it. So it's kind of an optional trade, but there's no other stock reporting today, at least interesting ones. And so uh, this would be the trade for today. And uh, let's see how this plays out. So that's it for today. We're closing three trades. And here's an optional credit spread trade on Shopify. And tomorrow, of course, uh, uh, both Apple as well as Facebook is reporting. 
and on Facebook I will be giving the trade tomorrow and uh, not today on Apple we have the long call and uh, I think if this can go up a little bit that would be great if not that's fine it's still a, a valid trade and we'll do something with it tomorrow thanks